Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. World-renowned contemporary artist Ali Sabet is here with us this morning. Such a treat. It is so nice to have you it's here. It's nice to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Yes, absolutely. And, and for people, they may recognize a lot of your artwork and uh, the, the very iconic eyes that you do Thank on the you. ladies. But you're really all about love and, and spreading love is your inspiration for your artwork. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, I, I believe that more than... Um, I don't think I can be inspired by love. I think what I can do is get out of the way so love comes through. So a lot of the work that, I, that you see, I feel like is kind of being channeled through me. And, uh, uh, you know, the love is being uh, channeled through because I can't always be, uh, I can't say that I'm completely, and you know, because everything inspires, right? right? Life inspires. You even come to San Diego, you write, to, to be inspired, right? Absolutely, almost every year. Uh, <laughs> me and my friend Colin Smith, we, we show up here once a year. We get on the train and uh, we go to Comic-Con and we make, make it, it's almost like a pilgrimage every year. Yeah, because you kind of do tap into a lot of that Japanese artwork look. Yes, um, most of my work is painted with Japanese brushes, at least the core of it. And I have started to paint a, um, a language that I can't actually uh, read myself. I'm gonna put this here. This is the beginning of a piece. Beautiful. But uh, I write a script called the love script that you see in a lot of the work that right. looks almost Japanese. Now that's a language that started flowing for me a couple of years ago. And, uh, I and can, you say you say it's it's just a language all your own. You really haven't quite deciphered it yet. No, there is times where people's names show up in English or in different languages. Um, I've had Chinese people be able to read it, Japanese people, and uh, Sanskrit. A lot of different languages show up, and then sometimes uh, it's mysterious because it shows up as in like the name of a friend's uh, spouse will show up in it or wow. somebody they're going to marry or right. it's it's pretty crazy. I, we try not to get into the craziness, but sometimes <laughs> you see, you know, there is words in there that look English. I don't you know, I can't read that right now, but and I'm right. not going to try. But yeah, it started but with uh, with this symbol right here and I can kind of show you that. OK, so this is a symbol you're talking about, yes. which, which looks like love, right? It is love. Yes. Very so cool. that came uh, January 5th, 2015. And it's the word love, but it's also the number one, it's also a person sharing the equal sign. So I called it love equals service. To serve others is to love. Uh, you can also see the number one, omega, square root, equal sign. From alpha to omega, the root of all equals love. Basically, the formula Beautiful. for love was embedded. So as I embed this in a lot of my work, four more love symbols showed up that are behind you. They're all the word love. Very beautiful. Love full circle, one person self-embracing. Right. Uh, Love, friendship, and relationships, two people, but it's also the word love. This showed up, uh, when this showed up, I asked my wife, I said, what day is it today? And she said, it's October 18, 2015. And uh, that was the biggest shocker of the piece because this is the reflection of love. Oh, you see I see, that? yes. But the fact that the date that it showed up for me was in mm. there was pretty crazy. And the last one is L-O-V-E. I call this inner strength. And this showed up on November 3rd, 2015 at 3.15 p.m. So I was kind of sensitive to seeing when these pieces were coming to me. Mm -hmm. I embedded these in the pieces that I was doing currently at the time in 2015 and 16 until I went to Japan. And when I came back, uh, this turned into ones and zeros and eventually turned into a full script that I'm completely uh, fluid in. <laughs> so how long does, does a painting like this take you to do? Uh, the bases are pretty quick, as you can see, like I can start, uh, you know, the top half pretty quickly. Uh, coloring and, uh, you know, the rest of the work could take anywhere from two days to two months, depending on yeah. uh, how long it sits in the studio. It's just so, so beautiful. And you will sometimes be doing different art exhibits. I know you recently had one at South Coast Plaza. Yes. With a, a collaboration with John Barbados. I had one with John Barbados just uh, about a month ago, and that was amazing. And uh, the collaborations really started with uh, working with Mont Blanc about two years ago, and I've been continuing that relationship until recently where we, all, we also did one in uh, Toronto with BMW, and then uh, now it's flown through different the other brands as well. Right, which, which is, is, really which is cool. great that you're always looking for new collaborations. Absolutely. So where can people find your artwork or any new exhibits coming up that people can, can check out your work, see the masterpiece come alive? Um, that's awesome. So you can find me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Sabet, which is S-A-B-E-T. 
On my website, of course, it's alisabet.com, A-L-I-S-A-B-E-T.com. And uh, I'm looking forward to a book signing with Mont Blanc and hopefully John Varvado San Diego within the next couple of months. But I'll post it on all my social media outlets. And if you like, I'll show you a little demonstration of the script. We would script love that, yes, quick. okay. Just so you can see that it actually it's, it's, a, it's a trip when it, when it starts coming out. So, um, and as I said, I, I have no clue on what I'm writing, but there is a lot of repeated patterns that happen with this. And it just kind of flows from you, huh? Yeah. And this is for you, so if you do end up seeing anything in, in it, you have to let me know. Okay. Cool. I am honored. So people can keep track of, of you on social media, and hopefully that uh, exhibit with John Vervetus in San Diego will come to fruition. Yes. We would like to see that here. I can't wait. And give our viewers an opportunity to... Uh, visit your work, see it up close and personal. So beautiful. Thanks, oh, I thank you so much. Thank you so Appreciate much for it. it. Definitely uh, check out our website. We'll have some links so you can check out some artwork from Ali and we uh, hope to see you in San Diego a lot more. I'd love to be here. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back on Good Morning San Diego. Stay with us.